virus. Government officials report the virus is not Raise your eyes. Stormy clouds, petrol skies, petrol skies thick with grief. If the heavens open, will we even feel relief or will we, in our naivety, just get wet? No relief, just regret. This hesitancy, this uncertainty, this is the filter through which we see our new reality. Who knew such mythic strife would be the new normal of modern life? Let us set the scene prior to setting sail, provide some mythological context to our contemporary COVID tale. Xenophon stated that history would surely repeat itself. But what is Xenophon really good for other than gathering dust on a musty shelf? Me, I've always preferred tales of heroic deeds and star-crossed lovers. There's an honesty to mythology that reality seldom offers. So trying to make sense of the absurdity of our current situation, I find myself reaching back to history, seen through the lens of imagination. So back then, way back when, Jason sought the golden prize, a glittering fleece under Colchian skies, serpent guarded, the stuff of law, the stuff of law yet true enough to go to war for. A golden fleece from a ram of gold that saved Agamemnon's children in days of old. In days of old, in myths they told, things get lost in the story's fold. The golden fleece of which legends sing, stolen from a king to be given to a king. It's comforting to know that within the mythic absurdity, there's still a place, a saving grace for the status of the Hellenic monarchy. Steal that fleece, Jason. Regain your throne. Regain your throne. Find your way back home. But that was then. Way back when. This is now wondering why and how did we get here to this new reality, trying to keep hold of a semblance of sanity. A semblance of sanity alongside a sense of community. This is our quest. Our global search for unity. To find our way out of this labyrinth, this pandemic maze. To make our way home. To more certain days. To find our fleets, whatever its form, and brave the dangers of this current storm. To connect with each other, whilst feeling safe. To believe we can. To find our faith. Here be heroes and villains too. This myth we're living has shown what's true. This Bristol Argonautica will traverse the metaphorical briny foam to find the prize under stormy skies. And if the gods allow, someday, somehow, make our way, I pray, to a place we all call home. Home. Home is where the heart is. Home is where the art is. Home is where we start this. In the southwest of England, on the River Avon, sits a city on the water, liberal and brave, and this is where we seek our heroes, our modern day Argonauts. From every walk of life, all people, all sorts. This is Bristol our modern day Iolcus. A starting point for our journey to give our story focus, Bristol. Beloved kingdom of Brunel. Temple Meads and Bristol Zoo and the Rolling Downs as well. A jewel within the Southwest, a special kind of place. Throbbing with musical vibrations, be it trip hop or drum and bass. Popular with the Bacchanalia, mud drenched festival goers looking for a shower. Arriving bleary-eyed, they stay as Bristol works its power. City of balloons, of stop-motion cartoons, of pirates, of street art, 
of just the kind of place where a modern myth can start. Argonauts, are you listening? Your prize awaits you beyond the blue. Beyond the blue, a distant glistening. Beyond the journey, filled with unseen danger as this modern world grows ever stranger. Argonauts, let us sing your tale. From epic deeds to epic fail. From heroes and the daily sacrifice and the villains who deal in lies and lies. Argonauts, let us seek the prize. Under stormy clouds and petrol skies. And when we find it, let us share it. And pray to God we have the strength to bear it. Whatever the cost. Whatever the loss. We bear it together. Bristol Argonautica, our story is setting sail. Strong winds, Godspeed, good luck, take heed. May your fortune and your science never fail.